Hello. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this um, uh, Harbor Freight uh, 10 by 12 greenhouse that I've used to set up an aquaponics system. Uh, before I go into uh, talking about the aquaponics system, I do want to talk about a couple of modifications I made on the greenhouse itself uh, because that's actually important if you're planning on getting one of these, these, uh, these greenhouses. Uh, the main one is the panels. They blow out in the wind really bad. Um, and so what I did is I got these uh, roofing screws and uh, anywhere that there's a brace, I put the roofing screw in there to hold the panel in place. Okay, so that's that's very important modification. That's on all the sides and on the roof. Uh, you can see there's also these panels up here that do not have anything that you can screw into. Screw into. There's no braces on them. So what I actually did to hold those, and really I did it on all the panels, is on the inside of the greenhouse. I uh, put in this uh, uh, silicone. Okay, and that actually also helped in the winter uh, to basically sealed up all the, all the cracks and crevices. Okay, but that silicone actually holds the panel in as well. And that's on all of them, even those ones up there. Uh, the other thing I did that's very important is I put these, uh, these braces. This is basically electrical conduit, and I put it between the middle of the, of, the, uh, of the wall and just basically just went as far back as it needed to go and then screwed it in wherever it landed. I did, that way I didn't have to cut the pipe. Uh, and there's two of these. There's one on this side, and then there's one over on this side. Uh, this keeps the uh, the greenhouse from uh, blowing sort of sideways in the wind, um, which helps it hold together. Uh, and also, these are nice to be able to hang things from. I got this uh, mason bee house in there, for example. Um, so that's the main modifications I made uh, to the greenhouse. Uh, in the winter, I had to heat it. So what I did is um, I used to do uh, Bitcoin mining. Um, when it was profitable. When it, became, when it was not profitable, um, I had to shut down because it cost more for the electricity and to run the machines than the Bitcoins were worth. But I created these soundproof boxes. Um, and I found that actually uh, th these are actually useful for heating, uh, efficient way of heating up the greenhouse because um, um, the Bitcoins they generate um, can actually use, be used to pay back some of the electricity. Um, so I set this up. I actually set up a, a Wi-Fi extender, and I've got some Sonoff um, um, electrical switches that I use to turn it on and off whenever the temperature gets gets cold in here. It'll, it'll start with one. If it's still getting cold, it'll do two, and then do three if it needs to on the worst cold days. And that's worked out. That worked out really well. It's getting hot now. I'm actually going to be moving that out of here, but uh, that worked really well for the winter. Um, when I started, this was December, um, and I, there was no plants in the in the uh, stores so I had to start with seeds also I, I didn't have all the stuff I needed to actually do uh, aquaponics so I actually initially set up this hydroponic system and I'm kind of glad I did this because I learned a lot from from this simple system uh, basically what I did is I had this Tupperware bucket and I put a pump down in there and what it does is basically uh, it has this um, clear tubing that comes out and uh, it has um, basically this other tubing that's attached to it. I basically drilled holes in there and, um, uh, and glued that in. That's uh, basically those go into each of the plants. The plant buckets themselves are here. And uh, then in the, in the bucket, I've drilled a hole with some PVC for a drain that drains into this larger PVC that then drains back into the, into the bucket. Um, Robbie's actually been helping me out a lot with this. Uh, he's my cameraman today. Um, Hi. And uh, so he's learned a lot on this as well. So I kind of want to say what I learned on this, the, the problems that I, that I ran into with this. One is this Tupperware bucket. This plastic is just too flimsy. It actually cracked and it's leaking. Now you can see all this water that's leaked out of that. I'm going to have to replace that soon uh, because that's, that's a waste there. Uh, the other thing I don't like about it is uh, this plastic tubing that I use. Is clear and it grows algae in there and that clogs up the clogs up the uh, flow of the water. I have to take that off and clean it. Uh, this uh, this using the silicone here to hold the tubes in. Anytime I want to make a change, I got to pull that all off and then re-glue it. Same with the exits on these these buckets. The buckets are clear, so they grow algae. I don't have lids on them, so they grow algae up there. The algae doesn't seem to be bothering the plants, but it is consuming a lot of the resources. So. Uh, so I kind of want to control the algae a little better. That said, I actually, this is actually done really well. And this is all stuff that I had. I didn't buy anything for this. This was all just parts I had from other projects. 
Uh, we got carrots here. They're doing really, really healthy. I've got uh, green beans here. They're making a lot of green beans. Uh, we got cucumbers. There's a nice one there. I've just been getting tons of cucumbers. You know, there's some down over here. They're just all over the place. Uh, I've got tomatoes. Lots of green tomatoes. None of them are orange yet, but I got lots of them. Uh, I did these potatoes. Actually, what I did here is I got russets and I just put them in the bottom of the bag and as they grew, I just kept filling that up and hopefully that bag will be full of potatoes when they're ready to harvest. So yeah, the system's done really well. It's been really productive, but I did want to do a aquaponics rather than a hydroponics system. So the lessons I learned from that, I took to, to my um, aquaponics system. So first of all, the reservoir. This is a much better, much larger reservoir. This is actually a livestock tank. I uh, lined it with a pond safe epoxy um and it's doing really well uh i've actually have crawfish in there and robbie uh helped me set up these little homes for them it's actually a pvc pipes that i just sliced up made in like a lattice there and they can all go into there uh they crawfish like to fight so this gives them a way to whenever they need to retreat they can go down to one of those tubes and they can defend it they stick their claws out the top and they're doing really well in there uh, they just love that uh um i've been feeding them um cucumbers they've really enjoyed those and also have this uh the shrimp stuff that they seem to enjoy these shrimp sinking pellets uh basically the way this system works is i've got siphons from the main tank uh this is the main siphon and then there's four smaller ones are just redundant uh this siphon is the most important part of the system because it goes into the filter and everything that all the water that pulls out of the system is coming out of this this bucket this filter bucket so um you know, if, this, if I lose the siphon here, then uh, the system will dry out. So I have several redundant ones. Uh, I do check this every day, but if I'm out for vacation for a few days, I don't want it to dry up. So lots of redundant siphons on here. Uh, basically goes into this bucket. Uh, I have charcoal in this, uh, this uh, paint strainer uh, bag here. And at the bottom there, there are two pumps. So one pump is controlled by this switch here. And this is the main pump and it runs continuously, okay? The other pump is actually connected to this, this uh, hose here, and it runs off this timer. I have this timer set uh, to run uh, three times a day for 30 minutes. Uh, that hose then connects to, the other end of the hose connects to here to this drip line. And the drip line then has these smaller drip lines that are attached to it, and those go into the individual buckets for the plants. These buckets are not transparent, so that's going to prevent the algae. I have lids on them as well. Uh, that's also going to prevent the algae. I used uh, these grommets here instead of the glue, so that works a lot better. If I need to take these out and, and change things, it's a whole lot easier. I don't have to take the glue off and then re-glue. Same here, I've got these connectors here uh, that uh, basically you just drill a hole and snap that in. And then that's real easy if you need to pop that off and you change this line. Or if I get rid of the whole bucket, I can just cap the line off and I, it doesn't mess the rest of the system up. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically what I have so far. My plan is to actually move these, uh, the Bitcoin miner machine out of here uh, and extend this out. I'm going to have several reservoirs just like this, uh, probably four or five of them along the walls of the greenhouse and have aquaponics in the whole greenhouse. And I'm actually going to replace this, uh, this original hydroponic system. So that's pretty much what we have so far. I'll give it, keep everybody updated as, um, as I make changes. Um, so that's pretty much it. You have anything to say, Robbie? Um, bye. Okay, bye-bye. We'll talk to you later.